We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, welcome back. I'm Emery. The music during passing period is run by different teachers this year, so let's hear more about it from Morgan. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Cromie and Mr. Bach, and they're in charge of the Minute Belt music this year. So what can students do to help? Okay, so like our thinking with the way we're running the Minute Bell is that Mr. Bach and I have a lot of songs that we own, that we have in our possession, all the different um, genres that we listen to. But we do have the intention of letting people that are really interested in music get involved. So one of the ways that we're doing that is we have a uh, Twitter account that we've created called um, at SHS Bell, capital SHS Bell, and we'll post every day like what song is going to play that day or is playing and stuff about the artist so that people interested in music can kind of look it up and maybe see something else by the artist. But we also have the intention of maybe running like some kind of contests, you know, maybe some giveaways. We got a, some music related stuff, things that people are really interested in music. Um, it won't be something that you'll just be able to give us a request and and um, get a song on there because, you know, there's a little bit of a process that goes to that. But we do want people that are really interested in music and different genres of music to kind of talk to us about it, communicate that way and follow us on, on that account so we know who's interested. And then when we run some con contests and request types of things, those will the people, be the people that we go to. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I just want to reiterate um, what Mr. Cromie was saying and explain a little bit. The, the process really is um, quite arduous. It's a kind of an archaic system. Um, so we have to vet the songs first. First of all, we have to like get the file, the MP3 file, um, and then check the lyrics. You know, sometimes I know people have requested songs already that it would be tough to find a minute where uh, there wasn't something uh, very explicit going on with the lyrics um, or something that would make me bashful. <laughs> But, but, you know, kind of going back to that, we also, I mean, it, we, want, we want songs that we're trying to pick that are like interesting songs. Um, we do not play a lot of what would be like pop top 40 songs. I don't think you're going to expect to hear that. If you're hearing it on the radio every day, you're probably not going to hear it on our playlists, I don't think. Thank you. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to follow SHS Bell on Twitter for more information. There are a lot of sports announcements because fall sports start today. Make sure to pay attention if you are interested. Please turn in your physicals today if you play a fall sport. You cannot try out or practice without a physical. Volleyball tryouts are Monday through Wednesday from 3.30 to 6.30. Soccer will meet on the grass today from 3.30 to 4.30. If you want to be a manager for soccer or volleyball, meet with the coaches. Golf will meet at 3.20 in the Commons. Now over to, jo to Josh to see what's been going on with this crazy weather. All right, happy Monday to you. Now, we did have some crazy weather over the past four days. Let's check this out first. Thursday night, can you believe what we saw here? This is a rotating wall cloud over western Topeka, probably the closest Topeka's gotten to a tornado in several years. That was Thursday night. Then we had some more storms, strong winds as well. Friday, Saturday, and even into early Sunday, over the last four days, this has added up to 5.05 inches. So it's been a very wet and exciting stretch for back to school. Now today, it's a totally different story. We're dry today and we crank up the heat. Check out these heat index values up near 105 to 110 degrees after school. So any sports practices today that are going to happen outside, you need to drink lots of water. It's going to be very hot and we do fall back down into the upper 90s for heat index by 8 o'clock. So that extreme heat continues tomorrow, but we do catch a break Wednesday. Some storms are possible in the early morning hours and throughout the day, and we do have a marginal risk for severe weather as well. The main threat is just going to be some gusty winds throughout the day Wednesday. Checking out the seven-day forecast, you can see 
We are tracking that hot weather today and tomorrow, but then look at all those 80s in the forecast from Wednesday through at least Sunday. A nice break from the heat is on the way. Emery, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.